Following the death of President Harding, Calvin Coolidge became the new President of the United States. Who was Calvin Coolidge? What type of leader was he? John Calvin Coolidge was born on July 4, 1872, in Vermont. After graduating from Amherst College, Coolidge moved to Massachusetts where he became a lawyer. In 1898, he was elected to the City Council of Northampton and then a year later to the position of City Solicitor. He won a seat in the State House of Representatives in 1906 and was elected Mayor of Northampton, Massachusetts in 1909. Coolidge continued his rise through the ranks of politics by running for a seat in the State Senate in 1912, Lieutenant Governor in 1915, and Governor of Massachusetts in 1918. His successful handling of the Boston police strike in 1919 helped him gain national attention. As a result, he was selected to be Warren G. Harding's running mate in the 1920 presidential election. In 1923, Vice President Coolidge was visiting his parents in Vermont when he received startling news. President Harding had suddenly passed away, allowing Calvin Coolidge to become the 30th President of the United States. As President, Coolidge earned the nickname Silent Cow for his quiet and reserved manner. This manner also matched his administrative style, which was a very hands-off approach. Unlike some earlier administrations, he did not believe in government regulations and insisted that the government should stay out of the way of the American economy. This approach came to be known as laissez-faire economics, which literally translates as let it be. Coolidge became famous for saying, after all, the chief business of the American people is business. During his administration, Coolidge was a strong proponent of African American rights. In his first State of the Union address, he argued that the rights of African Americans were just as sacred as any other Americans. He also appointed African Americans to government positions. Coolidge also became a strong advocate for Native Americans. He signed the Indian Citizenship Act in 1924. This granted U.S. citizenship to all Native Americans while allowing them to maintain their tribal lands. The Committee of 100 was also created during his presidency. This was a panel which reviewed all of the federal programs which related to Native Americans. The committee eventually suggested an in-depth investigation into the living conditions that existed on Native American reservations. After six years in the White House, Calvin Coolidge made the decision to decline running for president again in 1928. He retired from the presidency and became a writer, writing his autobiography as well as a weekly newspaper column. Republicans hoped to encourage him out of retirement to run for president in 1932, but once again he declined the offer. Silent Cow is remembered today as one of the most enduring figures of the 1920s. He was a surprisingly reserved figure to lead the nation through much of the decade that came to be known as the Roaring Twenties.